At first it did seem like a crazy idea, but it just kind of looked like something intriguing that I thought I might get one opportunity to try and I think I can do it. We have a 10 acre site that's been seeded to wheat and canola, Western Canada's two most prominent crops, and it's been seeded into the shape of the Grown with Purpose logo. It was a great opportunity to elevate co-op's on-farm sustainability program to the next level and visually share with Western Canadians the amount of precision, care, and the amount of purpose that goes in to growing the foods that we eat every day. So Grown with Purpose is a forward-thinking agronomic program that's delivered by Co-op's Grow Team, our network of agronomic specialists across Western Canada. These Grow Team members work one-on-one -on -one with farm customers to do a comprehensive review of on-farm practices and build plans for the future for a thriving farm business while being mindful of the environment both for today and tomorrow. So this is such a cool project because it's hard to do. This was not a matter of just loading in a GPS map. It's a good blend of art and science. Uh, you'll see that the original map was actually hand-drawn. We had to manually break down the logo, all the dimensions, and then calculate what the right scale and size of this project should be as well. And then we started laying it out in the field with a measuring wheel and pin flags. Trying to fit into a small 10 acre square, it would be almost impossible to do with a grower's type of setup. So with our 10 foot seed master plot drill, it does have all the bells and whistles that a normal grower would have on their machinery, but just on a mini size, so it's kind of like a little model. A lot of the things with this process relate to normal farms. We've got all the different factors of seeding, harvest management, spraying. This has been planned for six months ahead of seeding. Take your time on the planning and make sure you do your research and talk to the right people. And at the end of the day, it does help the process kind of have a better final product. So when you're driving by, it's such an interesting project because you don't necessarily see the full picture of what's going on. But as soon as you get into the air, it clearly comes into focus. We were able to put our heads together and come up with a plan on something that nobody's ever done here before in Western Canada. You kind of have to take some risks and face some challenges. And if you sometimes take those risks and challenges, you have a nice product that shows up in the end that you might not have thought you could do. And that's what I feel that we have achieved.